budget, delicious house-made handcrafted food, and a great time. It's all here at Bonnie and Clyde. We're gonna get down to business here in the kitchen. This is Jordan Lavin and Cody Byer. Now, what are we preparing today? We're gonna make a filet Oscar. Ooh, nice. It's a filet mignon with an Oscar sauce. And uh, it comes with a side of veg and mashed potato. Okay, well, where do we get started? Heat the pan up and then add olive oil to it. All right. And we want to get the olive oil nice and hot until it has a rippling effect. So okay. it gets a proper sear on the filet mignon. Now, is this a special or is this something that's always in the menu? It's a special right now, currently. Okay. We usually always have filet mignon, but we try to mix up the kind of different ways we prepare it. All right. But on the menu right now, currently, this is our filet Oscar. Right? So there's our beautiful filet, right? Absolutely. How many ounces of filet is that? That's a five ounce filet. Oh, excellent. Basically right now what we're doing is we're going to pan sear the filet, get everything sealed off on the sides, okay. make sure it's completely cooked on the outside, and then once that's nice and seared, we're going to put it in our oven and get it to temperature and prepare our sauce. All right. You always want to use an oil or something to cook a filet. Butter tends to burn if you cook it too much. And... Yeah, you really don't want to interfere with that great taste yeah, of that absolutely. filet, right? Absolutely. So now she's going to place the filet mignon into the oven. Now we got it seared all on the outside. We're going to try to get it to about rare, medium rare. We're going to start our side of veg. Our veg currently is broccoli rob. Right. We always change our veg. We have fresh veg constantly. We get fresh produce every week. Excellent. Um, this is our veg currently. The first thing she's going to do is throw some butter in there, get that nice and melted up. We always like to put uh, some garlic and some shallots in our veg with a little bit of white wine, just to give it oh, an extra nice, flavor. Oh, nice, nice flavor. And now that the mixture is nice yeah. and reduced, we're going to add our veg. Excellent. Gonna saute that up, throw some salt and pepper on top of it for a nice. little extra flavor. And once she's got that nice and sauteed, she's gonna add some white wine. Get that nice and heated up. Well, that'll add so much flavor as well. Absolutely, yeah. Now next, we're gonna prepare our Bernays sauce. It is a hollandaise sauce with tarragon leaves. Oh, wow. Now, Sounds to great. make it the Oscar, we're going to add crab meat and white asparagus, and that's going to top off our filet mignon. Oh, excellent. And once that's nice and heated up, we're going to start to plate our dish. First thing we have here is our mashed potatoes, which are made in-house. And she's going to put our homemade demi-glaze, and now she's going to plate the veg. And here comes our oh, filet mignon. Our filet is gorgeous. We're going to put our Bernays sauce on, and here you have it, our filet Oscar. Well, Jordan, Cody, thank you so much for You're preparing welcome. this for us. Looks great. But I think we're going to head up front now, right? All right. Yeah, we're going to head out to the front of our house with our owner, Steve Mazalewski. Hi, Jackie. Welcome Hi. to Bonnie and Clyde's. Thanks, Steve. I just love this place. It's so much fun. There's so much to see, but the food is amazing. Why don't you give us a little overview of the place? Originally it was a bank built in the early 1900s mm -hmm. and uh, I mean we, you still have the vault there. Oh yes we do. <laughs> we still have the vault. My wife we were uh, she always knew I liked the gangster theme yeah, and, and yeah. that type of especially the movie Bonnie and Clyde from 1967. Seven, with, yep. uh, she came up with a name she said we were trying to think of names and she said what about Bonnie and Clyde and immediately was no hesitation. I mean the bank yeah. like you know the, the whole bank thing building is, the yeah. robbers I yeah. mean they're not the greatest people to be known for but no. they it's a, it's a good theme. It's like, uh, would you rather come to Bonnie and Clyde or Steve and Joyce's? <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? right. We specialize in seafood. All of our fish and everything is fresh. Our chef went to Smith Culinary College, worked for the Rockefellers back in the 70s, and the late plastic during the Olympics as well. So he's very knowledgeable. It's, it's his menu. It's his food. We have 36 beers on tap. We constantly change our beers into, into new flavors and local beers we try to do as well. It's very important uh, here because you do all of your own baking in-house. That, that is correct. Mm -hmm. We have our own uh, pastry chef, mm -hmm. Natalie. She yes. makes her own cheesecakes. And today she's baking a uh, lemon blueberry cheesecake with uh, blueberry topping. So first you want to start with the blueberries. I do about half of a pack of blueberries. And then you want to puree them. You want to get your cream cheese. Room temperature always. And then we need our sugar lemon zest, lemon juice. Start pureeing this together. And then slowly you'll want to add your eggs one at a time. You don't want to over mix it because the more you over mix it, the more air bubbles you'll get. You'll take your custard and you're going to want to put it in your graham cracker crust. Bake it in the oven for 300 degrees for four and a half hours. 
and I'll tell you my cheesecake. They're famous. People love them. They, at Thanksgiving, people try to buy a full cheesecake because they are so good that they want to share them with their family as well. Uh, we're located in uh, 111 North 1st Street in Lehigh, Pennsylvania. And you're very active on social media. Yes, we try to put food and beers that yeah, came the out. different specials yeah. and things specials that are going and stuff, on. Editions. Well, thank you so much for having us here, Jackie, Steve. We you're had welcome. such a good time. We feel like, you know, gangsters now, you know, we're, we, we were initiated <laughs> here at Finding Life. Thanks exactly. so much you're for welcome. having us. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome.